Hi, I'm author Lisa Yi. I'm just finishing my peas. Anybody want some peas? Because I would share. So um, I'm the author of lots of different books like the DC Superhero High series and a lot of American Girl books and Millicent Min series. But today what I want to talk to you about is Bobby vs. Girls Accidentally. Um, there are a couple of Bobby books. They're written by me and illustrated by Dan Santan. And, oh, Dan is here. We have Dan Santan here. Dan, come over here. They want you to say hi. Come on. Don't be shy. Oh, hi. I'm Dan Santat. Okay. So, wasn't that cool? We got to see Dan Santat. Anyway, I'm going to read you a couple of passages from this book. Um, a couple of things about this. Uh, Bobby is nine years old. His dad is an ex-NFL football player turned stay-at-home dad. His mom works for a glitter girl. His big sister, Annie, is the quarterback of the high school football team. And his little sister, Casey, um, she dresses like a princess every day, uh, but she loves to play in the dirt, and she has a pet worm named Wormy. And Bobby is kind of, um, I wouldn't say average, but, you know, I mean, he's just, he's just well, like one of his friends says, Bobby, you're, you're just there. So um, this is Bobby. And one of the things that Bobby has wanted his entire life is a dog, but he has asthma, so he can't have it. So this is when Bobby and Holly meet up in the summer after you know school's about to start. They haven't seen each other all summer. They have been best friends since they were babies, but they're getting a lot of pressure from people because people are saying, oh, boys and girls can't be friends. Jillian, or um, Holly has just offered Bobby the goldfish that she won at the fair. But, but Bobby didn't want a fish. Fish were dumb. He wanted black Labrador retriever, the best animal in the entire world. Holly held out the fishbowl to him like it was filled with diamonds. Here, this is for you, Bobby. I really want you to have the fish. Thanks, I guess, Bobby said. He took the fishbowl and then someone tapped Holly on the shoulder. Hi, Holly. It was Jillian Czar. Bobby and Holly automatically stepped away from each other. It was dangerous to be spotted from someone at school. And now here's Bobby and Holly, and she's trying to give him the fish. So that's what they look like. Benny, you weren't even talking to Bobby. I mean, Benny, you weren't even talking to Holly, were you, Jillian Czar asked, eyeing him suspiciously. My name's Bobby, he corrected her, and um, we were just, we um, just happened to be standing near each other. Jillian Czar towered over Bobby. She was freakishly tall for someone who was nine years old. Even her pigtails looked intimidating. Hey, Holly, Jillian Czar said, turning her back to Bobby. Let's go to the petting farm. They have the cutest baby goats. Oh, that does sound like fun. Holly looked at Bobby. Doesn't that sound like fun? Jillian Czar made a sour face. Why are you even talking to a boy? I was just, I was being nice, Holly said. Bobby shook his head. I couldn't go to the petting zoo even if I wanted to. I'm allergic to fur and it could trigger my allergies and then that could trigger my asthma. And TMI, Jillian Czar cried, linking arms with Holly. Too much information. Holly glanced over her shoulder as Jillian Czar dragged her away. Goodbye, she mouthed. Bobby gave his friend a weak wave and then watched the girls disappear into the crowd, leaving him holding a goldfish. So Bobby has this fish that he really doesn't even want. You know, he wants a dog. Um, but he grows to love the fish and teaches the fish how to do tricks. If you go to my website, you can see goldfish doing tricks, dog tricks in the water. But anyway, uh, lisayee.com. So um, Bobby is with his fish named Rover and his little sister Casey is looking at the fish. Hi, fishy fish fish, Casey cooed as she peered at Rover. Bobby, make him do a twirl. Using hand signals, Bobby gave Rover the command. As he did a backflip, Casey clapped. She was wearing her Princess Becky pajamas and had just taken a bubble bath, so she smelled like flowers. Does fishy fish fish ever take a bath? His name's Rover, and he doesn't need to take a bath. He's a fish, Bobby explained for the hundredth time. He wiped her fingerprints off of the glass on the aquarium. Don't fish get dirty, Casey asked. She pressed her nose up against the tank. Nope. Casey squinted at Rover. But he swims in his pee, 
she pointed out. That's why I have to clean the aquarium, Bobby said. I think it's bad that Fishy Fish Fish has to swim in his pee, she insisted. I mean, poor fish, you're mean, Bobby. Suddenly, Casey started screaming, Bobby, there's, there's a string coming out of Rover's behind. Bobby took his math homework out of his backpack. That's not a string, he said matter-of-factly. Rover is pooping. Casey's mouth hang open in disbelief. He pees and poops in the water? That's what fish do, Bobby started to exclaim. But before he could say anything more, Casey made a choking noise and then ran out of the room, shrieking. It's okay, Bobby assured Rover. You're just being yourself. There's nothing wrong with being yourself. Bobby versus girls.